don't remember the flight. Just the feeling. It was like going on the scariest ride in a theme park. Thinking you're going to die. Thank God she was okay. A handful of small cuts and bruises felt like the greatest victory in the world. We beat the unthinkable. lost my best friends. What was I thinking going on that road? How in the world did we come out of this? this strange feeling inside of me. It was like I was given a second chance to make things right. And then all of a sudden, it hit me. What if... this is my moment? My chance to become the superhero I always dreamed about. All I have to do is figure out how to save the world. Okay, well, thanks for coming, Terry. <sighs> Terry. Sylvia. Good to see you. This is our son, Dean. Terry Knight. Nice. Dean Goodwin. You, can, can I get you a cup of coffee or anything? No, no, I'm, okay. I'm fine. I only have right. minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, we just, we don't have any new information yet, but we will. Did you talk to her friends? Of course, but we haven't, um, found her. We need something, Terry. Please, we need something. These kind of investigations can take some time. It can be difficult to uh, locate things. What kind of things? <laughs> Signs of life. Oh. Oh, God. Yes, sir. We're gonna, we'll find her. We'll find her right there. Just to... Let her be. Let her be. Sign of life. Show you sign of life.
Dad? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no, I'm with you. Uh, let me have a chat with them, because I think it's... Dad? Dad, are you home? I'm on the phone. Mm-hmm. Hang on a sec. Danny? Is that you? Yeah. Uh... Hey, do you have a minute? Not today, pal. Got a red eye to catch. Have an early one in New York tomorrow morning. Mrs. Lee is on the way over. You're not in trouble again, are you, Danny? Yeah. Yeah, what? I swear, if you are, you're on your own. You hear me? Danny! I hear you. Well, get the door, will you? Sorry about that. No, don't worry. It's nothing, just my kid. Love you too. What did he say? Nothing. Well, he can ask, but I can't. Sarah, I need you to talk to me. Please, do you want to... Do you want to go somewhere? No, I don't want to go anywhere. Okay, well, will you please talk to me? We hit a turn, the car flew in the river. I don't know, I don't run to talk about it. Did Andre put you and Angie up to this? The moment I saw this boy, I knew he was up to no good. You should not be dating a boy that... Can you go now? No, just give me the phone. What did your father say? He, nothing. He said because of my boyfriend, we're all now suspects. How fast were they going? Over the speed limit. When was the last time you talked to her? Two months ago. She, she was going to come over to visit. Did she? No. Nothing since? No. No letters, emails, texts, deep secrets. No, we respected each other's space. What does that mean? We weren't very close. Hmm. See, I got a problem here. It's a three-person wreck. Only two accounted for. We got search teams in the woods around here. In case she managed to walk away from the wreck, pass out. Dive teams in the river. But, uh, nothing yet. So for now, it's a missing persons case. Suspicious circumstances. You know why I'm telling you this? Well, am I a suspect? Hmm. Well, my daughter was in the car with yours. Oh. Is she okay? Did, did you talk to her? Ask her what happened? I did. And? relationship is a bit like yours, you know, we, uh, respect each other's space. Hey, Terry, can you come down here for a sec?
You know what he's gonna tell me, don't you? I'm not supposed to be here. I said no. Behind my back, you still sent in the application. Dad, do you know how many kids get chances at something like this? Get, no! I will not have my daughter waste four years of her life on some stupid thing that will stupid? never pay off. Says who? Luis. You will not go on this interview. And I will not hear about this school in this house again. Is this clear? You're a monster, you know that? Selena, come back here. Finish your dinner. Dad. Dad, you can't live my life for me, okay? Hey. As long as I put a roof over your head, food on your table, and clothes on your body, you do not get a chance to say what I can and cannot do. Is this clear? Crystal. Excuse me. Luis. Sonia, I know what is best for her. You see? What is that? Selena, we do not slam doors in this house. The door is wide open. Then who did it? I don't know who did it, okay? A ghost did it. You do not talk to me like that, young because lady. Because you don't believe anything I say. It was the back door. The wind must have shut it. No. It must have been me. Selena, por favor, ya. Luis, enough, please. Have you ever heard of the word respect? goes very well with the word mutual. Honra a tu padre y a tu madre, mija. Good night. Your father always said this is the best remedy for insomnia. Hmm. You want some? No, thank you. Sort of feels like deja vu. When this happened to Katie, I was feeling the same feelings I felt then. Well, your feelings are wrong. She's alive. Oh, and you know that how? Did someone contact you? No. Well, she wouldn't. But the funny thing is, you're the closest by blood and the farthest by heart. It's how funny. Yeah, like you and me. Wait, I'm sorry. Come on. Come on back. Come sit down. I guess the
the last time we saw each other. We were sitting right here in this room. What was that, five years ago? Did you find what you were looking for all the way across the country? Are we really going to talk about this now? Never mind. I was just asking my son a simple question. Fine. We can talk about it now. I mean, I know exactly where this is going. My failed music career. My pathetic personal life, or... Now, let me guess. The fact that I turned my back on my only child. You did. With your help. She chose it. I gave her a home, a place where she could grow and experience the world in full color, like every child should. She went to a wonderful school, and she had good yeah, friends. Yeah, lots of expensive toys. I get it. And how was I supposed to compete with that? It's not about competition, Dean. It's about the decisions you make in life. Something you could never do. Doesn't look like she made the right decision now, does it? That night that we were here, you played something. It was... It was quite... It was quite wonderful. Yeah, I haven't written anything since then. Do you remember it? I woke her up. Play it. Dad's sleeping, I don't want to wake him up. No, I'm not. Play it, please. Wake her up. Dearest Sylvia, I'm sure it's not easy for you to read this, but believe me, writing this wasn't easy either. You once told me, the moment you learn your true purpose in life, destiny appears at your doorstep. You were right. After the crash, my destiny came calling. It said I have to save the world. Very soon, when I finish what I started, I'll come back home. You and Grandpa will be very proud of me. Mom? You all right? What are you doing? A passport. It's not here. Okay, well, where is it? It's just not here. Are you sure? She always travels with her passport. Always. Well, you know, somebody would have called by now. Well, 
this time I've been thinking that I'm, I'm going crazy, hearing voices and seeing things. She's alive. She's alive. State police need your help in locating a missing Gardenland teenager. 17-year-old Angelina Goodwin was last seen on Sunday. Goodwin has dark brown hair and light brown eyes. She's 5 foot 4 inches tall and weighs between 110 and 118 pounds. She was last seen wearing a lavender dress and a denim jacket. If you have any information, please call 555-4745. You done playing? AJ Goodwin? Danny Lynn. I need you to do something. Go to the police and tell them the truth. Me? You. Where are you? Right in front of you. Is I the monkey? Boo! Every time I opened my eyes and found myself in a new place, I felt like a fugitive on the run. My wounds were healing quickly, but I started having these dreams. I felt like I was being followed. I have a refrigerator if you don't put food in it. No. I was no fugitive on the run. I was a superhero on a mission. And this was the next stop on my journey. The City of Angels. the angel. I wrote it. You like it? Wait, how, how did you get in here? Through the window, like a bird. You left a spare key under the doormat. It's the oldest trick in the book, you know. You should be careful. What, what, what are you doing here? You haven't seen me in five years, and that's the only thing you can say. The whole world is going crazy looking for you. You're on TV, in the newspaper, on the radio. I mean, what were you thinking? I'm like a celebrity. Would you like an autograph? No, that's not funny. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? The police are looking for you. But you won't tell them, right? Hi. Tried texting, but you didn't answer. You busy? I, um, just came in myself. Yeah, I saw you downstairs. Uh, any news? 
Is it okay if I, um, if we talk tomorrow at school? Yeah, sure. Hey, Renee. It, it was good to see you. She's pretty. Is that your girlfriend? Look, um, get your things. I'm gonna take you to the airport. But I just got here. You can't stay here. I'm gonna put you on a plane, and I'll get Sylvia and Grandma to pick you up, okay? You're throwing me out? No, I'm not throwing you out. When you walked through that door, I thought you were gonna give me a hug. Tell me how much you missed me. And how happy you are to see me. I am. I... But you didn't. You didn't even ask me if I was okay. Or if I needed help or. Oh, I'm so glad you're alive. Don't say that, of course I am. I, I, I'm just. You're what? I... You're what? You know what's sad? I came here looking for my father, but instead I found a stranger who I don't even know. I thought you were different. I was wrong. Angie. Angie. Hey. Angie. Grown up. Thanks. You haven't. Are you gonna run away if police show up? No, I'll just pretend I don't know you. You're very good at that. Listen, back there, I, I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. Sorry. You're a coward. Yes, I am. Any chance that we can start everything over? I can fix you. But you have to listen and do everything I say. Are you in? Just as I thought. Angie, okay. I'm in. Good. First order of business then is to fill up your refrigerator and buy you new clothes. Wait, what's wrong with my clothes? Nothing. If you're going for a 70 and overlook. <laughs> Come on, where are you parked? Uh, it's in the shop. 
What's wrong with it? I don't know. Fine. Add a new car to the shopping list, too. Took it away from me. I'm sorry. I held your hand. It's fine. And you? What happened? Where is she? Sarah? Yeah. Are you sleeping? I'm watching TV. You should try and get some rest, honey. Okay, and good night. You know how obsessed she is with that place. Where did she get that? Mom! What is he doing here? I'm so sorry, Mrs. Collins. I just wanted to make sure Sarah was okay. In the middle of the night? Mom, please do not make such a get out of my house right now before I call the police. What? Get out. I'm not going to repeat myself twice. Get out. Come on. You stay right here, young lady. Get out of my house. Go. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Collins. I would never. Get out of my house! What's the charge? I can't. I have a board meeting in an hour. Fine. You do what you have to do. Is everything okay? Perfect. Luis, can you please pull over? Sure. I swear this kid is not gonna ruin my meeting. Alice, get me the sheriff. Tell him it's important. Call me back. Yeah. I thought I was going to do the hotel pickup, but they sent me to the airport. I don't know. Someone changed it. Sure. Dealing with something. I'll be there as soon as I can. Bye. Just got a call from the police. My son's been arrested. Again. You got kids, right? A girl, I think. I remember. What's your secret? I tell her my house, my rules. If she disagrees, I teach her a lesson. For example? <laughs> For example, the other day, um, she sent an application to this stupid college I told her not to. And then when the letter for the interview came, I took it right in front of her and I ripped it. Are you serious? It's the only way she will learn.
<laughs> Is this funny? <laughs> Have you ever gotten a call in the middle of the night telling you your kid has been arrested? How about juvenile court? Ever been? The truth is, I'd give it all up if I could trade places with you and have the same problems you have with your kid. Does he know this? Take me to the police station. What about your meeting? What about my son? Italian. No brainer. Hey, you can cook Italian, right? Did you fall asleep? One sec, I'm coming. <laughs> Look at you. Mm-hmm. I think you're ready. Ready for what? Your new chapter. I don't have to get a new job, do I? Not yet. I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. So, uh, just out of curiosity, what exactly are we fixing? Mm -hmm. You gonna get that? You didn't answer my question. Wait, what? Did, did you? Why did you text Renee? I want to meet her. Dinner? No, that's not happening. She's not coming over here. Okay, chill. Why not? Because. Because. She... <laughs> Because it's just not gonna happen, okay? You said because three times, and I still don't get it. Is this what you call fixing things? You can't just storm into people's lives and start messing things up. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> Look, you still haven't answered my question. What are we fixing? You didn't answer mine. I think you like her. I think you like her a lot. I saw the way you look at her. She's not coming. Period. <clears throat> Where are you going? To bed. You're gonna roll up your sleeves, start chopping, and stop driving me crazy. Shh. We had a deal. Lasagna? YouTube's gonna be your best friend. Hey, you're Sarah's father. Can I help you? I called him the accident. I'm not the guy you want to talk to. But I got something I got to tell you. Well, if it's about the accident, I don't want to hear it. Andre say Sarah. He dragged her out of the water. She was unconscious. All I did was call 911. 
Hey, look, I'm sorry, I should have told you this before. Where were you? Hiding. I stole this two hours before the accident. What about the driver? Angelina Goodwin, the girl that was driving the car. What happened to her? I don't know. I didn't see her. What are you doing? Aren't you going to arrest me? Pick up the bag. Pick it up. You know where to take that, right? Don't get lost on the way there. Hey. Thank you. Hey. Can I give you a lift? I got a ride. How about taking the rest of the day off? I got school. I've got work. Maybe we can cruise up to the lake and put the boat in the water, go fishing. Call it a family emergency. I, uh, think I have to return this first. I think we can arrange that. Good. Yeah. I'm serious. I uh, studied YouTube like the Bible. It shows. I'm leaving. Oh. Good. I'm going back to Texas. When? August. Got offered full time. You want some more wine? <clears throat> no, I'm fine. Well, you haven't had any, so. Where is she? I'm gonna go get her. Just let her sleep, it's fine. No, it's rude. She said she wanted to meet you. Dean. I'm still here. Angie. Angie. Renee's here. Are you going to join us? 15 more minutes. We should probably give her another 30 minutes. She's uh, got jet lag, so. Please, sit. How did she get in anyway? Through the window, like a little bird. 
I should use the key that you uh, left under the doormat. Perfect timing. Are you okay, Dean? Oh, I'm just happy for you. You know what, I... I should probably go before I say something I shouldn't. Renee? What is it? Just talk to me. You don't talk to me. Every time I try, you just push me away, even now. I don't mean to. It's, I swear, it's just... I just want you to be happy. I don't want you to lose out on life. Why, because you feel like you missed out on yours? What if you make me happy? We don't have to talk about this now. Never bother you again. Tell you what? That you don't love me. <laughs> it's just the mind talking. Do you want me to call you a cab? You only hear the wine talking. I'm leaving because... I want to help a girl I know. She fell in love with a man that made her laugh and cry. And sometimes... made her angry and sad. But deep down in her heart, he made her happy. And she wanted to give this happiness back to him, but <laughs> for some reason, he didn't want to take it. So when she found out she was going to have his child, she didn't say anything to him. Just quietly flew away somewhere far. I should probably run after her, shouldn't I? <laughs> Renee! Renee? Call me back, please. I'm sorry. Let's walk. Did she remind you of Katie? Why do you call everyone by their first name? Why not? Call you Dean. That's your name, right? But you call Martin Grandpa. That's true. Interesting. I don't know why that is. Me and Katie were very young when we had you. Hardly even knew each other. How did it happen? Sylvia never told you? No. When you were six, 
I just went my way and she went hers and, and one day she took the wrong turn. Like me? I've been having these dreams. I see this white house somewhere on top of a mountain. She's standing outside. And when she sees me, she smiles. <laughs> and she says, come home. It's time. That's when I wake up. <laughs> and for a moment, I feel like like it's not a dream. It's real. What if? What if she's alive? She's your guardian angel. She's looking after you every moment of every day. Come here. <laughs> Sylvia was right. I did run away. And I blamed the whole world for my sad little life. that I didn't become a composer, and that I had a kid too young in Katie's accident. And I thought that if I would run away, that it would fix things. It didn't. And when... thought of losing you, it opened up my eyes and made me realize that the whole time the only person that I was running from was me. I am so sorry. And I love you so much. you, Dad. Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna talk to her. Who? Renee. This is crazy. You don't even know where she lives. I'm gonna fix everything. What time is it? Uh, I'm sorry, I... No, it's all right. What's going on? Any news? <sighs> no, no. Okay, please call me if you hear something. Yeah. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I woke you up. I'll, I'll talk to you later. No, that's all right. Did, what, 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 did... <sighs> She's there, Martin. I know it. Well, if she was there, he'd tell us, honey. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, he would. After all, who are we? We're not his parents. We're not close friends. We're nobody. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's like this is huge, dark cloud is above us without ever letting the sun inside our home. And I don't know why. I don't know what we've done to deserve this. Oh, Do that. Sylvie. 
Sylvia, what are you? Sylvia, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Oh. God. Look, just don't do this to yourself. Just come back to bed. Don't tell me what to do, Martin. When did you ever listen to anything I ever told you to do? You never did. Certainly not when we you, you shut the door on our son and I let you do it. Shouldn't have done that. We should have done everything in our power to help him, to help him achieve whatever dreams he had, but we didn't do that, did we? No. Maybe that's why he doesn't consider us his friends or his family. We're with Stark around here. We're the cloud. <laughs> so much better. Gotta eat more than me. I'm getting a belly. Morning. Gotta beef him up. He's got a little light there. Mark made waffles. Do you want some? No, I'm not hungry. Do you want some eggs? Where are you going? My room. Can you please come sit here with us? So I can listen to you whining at me? No thanks. Sarah. Don't go there. Where? I can't use my phone. I can't go to my room. I can't talk to my boyfriend. Ladies, now I can't even talk. Uh, just take it easy, ladies. Nice, oh, mommy. Come on. come on. Why don't you like him? Is it because he's black? He drew off his Bobby. What happened? Terry? Sarah's gone. She took my car and she left. I don't know. Probably to see her boyfriend. I want you to be her father. That boy's bad news. No, he's... Okay, call me back. I just... I don't know... So this social work thing, what is it? It's a good... Thing, Dad. It's a way to help make people's lives better. God makes people's lives better. Well, maybe sometimes he sends someone to help them. So this Jane Adams University is it any good? Best in the country. And they really pay for your full tuition? If I get the presidential scholarship, yes. Sounds too good to be true. So, probably see you tomorrow. Okay. Selena. Your father wanted me to give you this. Mom told me you might be here. Great. Now she knows too. Knows what? I know how it looks. I come in the middle of the night after all this happened, but her mom wasn't gonna let me in the front door. 
What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Where is she? Sarah? Yeah. She's not at home? No, she took her mom's car, drove off. What? Where? I was hoping you could tell me. Tell you either. No. What happened? Like, where would she go with her car? If anybody would have a clue, that'd be you. All right, look. Uh, just call me on my cell phone if you hear from her, okay? Not at the station, my cell. Follow the butterfly. Fairy tale garden. She's at the fairy tale garden. I know it. Where is it? I know exactly where it is. Renee. Hey. Glad I found you, huh? What do you want, Dean? I just built up this wall of excuses of why it wouldn't work between us. And I don't want to do that anymore. Do you remember when we first met? When we were sitting next to each other at school? And we had that, um... Long, silly conversation. Just pretending to be teenagers. Drinking milk and cookies. I... I love you. I love you so much. You're a horrible salesman. <laughs> hey, did she ever come to see you? Been out all this time looking for her? On you? Yeah. Yes, she's right here in front of me, eating. Fine. Okay, we will be there, uh, I don't know, give me 30 minutes and I'll bring her by. Okay. Um, Angie's grandmother would like to talk to you. About? I don't know. She didn't say. I'm not going to go over to that house. And that woman, she's wretched. Well, that woman is your mother. Well, it's easy for you to say. You don't have to live with her anymore. Sure, but I accept her for who she is. You're going to have to do that, too. No, I don't. She doesn't accept me. If it was me, I would go over there anyway just to prove a point. Take a stand. Make her accept me for who I am, respect me. But that's just me. And how would I do that? Andre with you.
When will you stop looking for her? When we find her. What if you never find her? Then we never stop looking. He's coming. Bob, he's a good-looking kid. Where is he? He's with Mark, his mother's. You have some nerve showing up here with him. Best buds, I bet. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we are. And you probably should, too. Especially when you find out that he is the one who saved our daughter's life. What? Yeah. Yeah, the bruises that he has, they're not from the accident. They're from him busting out the window so that he could pull Sarah out of the water to safety. That's what happened. Terry, no, don't, just... Go for Detective Knight. She wrote this, A and she wrote this. It's called Angel. I have something for you. Sarah, you don't have to tell me where she is. Just, just tell me she's okay. Does she need money? Nobody has to know. What? <sighs> really?
is she okay? Okay. Uh, thanks for the update. See you. Hello. Sylvie, I found her passport. I'm holding it in my hands. It was underneath her bed. Oh, Martin. I never left the key under your door, Mandy. I had it the entire time. They found Angie's body. The uh, current had dragged it 13 miles from the crash site. No. Oh, my God. Oh. I guess it's pretty sad to think that my story ends here. It doesn't. No one remembers the last time it snowed in Gardenland, Florida. I guess I'm a little overwhelmed too. And at the same time, very excited. Today, I am turning 18. I waited for this moment all my life. I can finally do all those things I always dreamed about. I can take a vacation anywhere in the world. I can buy fireworks, go skydiving. I can even buy my own lottery ticket. When you're a superhero, you don't need any of those things. Believe me, when you can fly and be invisible, all your human wishes become boring. I guess you want to know if I saved the world. Angie Goodwin. I knew it was you. What? What's the charge? How clever. Don't worry. My lips are sealed.
course it was you. We do not slam doors in this house. The door is wide open. Then who did it? I don't know who did it, okay? A ghost did it. And then you appeared out of nowhere. You told me you were going to teach my dad a lesson. I thought I was going to do the hotel pickup, but they sent me to the airport. I don't know. Someone changed it. I knew you were behind it. I followed the butterflies because I knew that I'd find you here. This will always be our fairy tale garden. Ever since I was a little girl, I had this dream. One day, I become a superhero in my very own fairy tale. I can fly, be invisible, and at the end, save the world. My world. The people that are closest and dearest to my heart. You know what? One day you will too. And to answer Sylvia's question. Ask Renee.